one thing a guy can do that would instantly make him like more attractive? More attractive? More attractive. Don't show interest in me. I beg your pardon? Uh, don't show interest. Don't show interest. Yeah. Oh, you need a toxic guy. We must stay focused, brothers. Couldn't have said it better myself. More than ever, men are awake. They work multiple jobs, pocket that bread, and make sure to focus on the prize that has proven returns. After all, that's the logical thing to do. And that's what we're here to assess today. That logic is absolute kryptonite for women in modern society. It doesn't matter if it's basic math or finding out what makes someone valuable. They really just don't have the mental capacity at this point to make any real changes. Here are the comments. I think most men actually need to hear this. Not wifey material, red flag. She has a roster for sure. Wow, lol. Mental health is a serious thing. Must stay focused, brothers. And that's the heart of the issue. Women look at basic common sense like it's a 4D Rubik's Cube. When they're unable to solve it, instead of finding a better solution, they tap their feet and wait for a man to come along. Unfortunately for them, and fortunately for us, that ain't gonna happen. Next clip. We own 50% of the store. What? We are 50% invested into this store. And where you get the money? That's the part. No. That's what? What's up? The money is already okay. Um, the the 27,000 that you had. I know you're not talking about my son. But listen, the money is already coming back. I'm gonna talk to you later. Listen, listen, come back in here. Don't leave in the middle of the store. In the middle of the store. One, never walk away when revenge is warranted. Two, hypothetically, if anyone did that to my son, there's no see you later. There's a body bag. I often say that women in the West are extremely greedy. That much is true, however, some of the theft is just a result of them having zero brain cells in the old noggin. This chick stole from the guy, but you can see it in her eyes that she actually believed that this was a logical decision. There's nothing redeemable in this clip, that's for sure. Let's go see what people have to say about this nonsense. She made the money right back. He needs to just stop and listen. She is 100% wrong and she know it. She is like a little child telling her parents she effed up. That's a strong man, totally in control of his emotions. She needs to be grateful that he walked away. Typical. Yes, yes it is. There are a couple of comments I have to address here because logic is the theme. To comment number one, you are out of your mind, lady. If I went to your house, grabbed your purse, ran to Vegas, and then made a bunch of money on the roulette wheel, there's no way in hell you'd think everything was copacetic if I returned the bag next week. And to comment number three, that's true. The stoic virtues are great, but this doesn't mean people can smack you around and knock you to the floor, and you'd be in the right to tip your hat and walk away. Justice must be served. Next, another one. <laughs> these hoes why are you trying well i can at least speak for the people in our man guide fam we're not also this woman is radioactive she shouldn't be allowed in any place without proper ventilation at this point women will think it's a genius idea to post body counts for millions to see and then be absolutely rattled when they die alone in the hospital well ladies let me put it to you this way nobody is going to think a body count capable of filling three classrooms qualifies you to be a long-term wife Conceivable. Here are the comments. We live in a sick society. Are girls really like this these days? In 10 years, why can't I find a man to settle down with? I've always seen cheetah print as a warning sign of a garden tool. To brag about your body count is the same as those who celebrate June's Pride Month. Nothing special about it. The only thing I'd add is that it's a red flag. It's nice to see a united comment section. To the guy asking, are girls really like this these days? Welcome back from the epic coma, brother. Welcome to the world of the West. All right, here we go. Why are you being all dry? I don't like that. Just throwing me off right here. I'm not throwing you off. Why are you looking away and shit? You about boring as fuck. I said no. What the hell we doing? Damn. All right, just walk away. What happened though? I you, said, know. you said what? She too loud? She ain't come the right way. It's just ain't. Baby. How I walked up? Baby, I ain't even fighting for you, baby, because you too young. Let me give me five high five. Pretty as hell. 
Thank you, I appreciate it. Got a lot of hair. Good on you, King. Although you shouldn't be on the show, and I'd wash that hand as soon as possible. The comments are, she is too aggressive and mannish. Ain't no one going to deal with that. Loud, aggressive, cringy. She was doing too much. Her voice don't match her face. She corny for real. And that's the last logical failure that honestly has overlap with everything here. Guys, the Western woman isn't a woman. That's a fact. Embrace freedom. I just came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. Okay, this is not supposed to be offensive, but I see their wives and they just look like so like, you know, like, not like this. Just like, you know, like, I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I look crazy. Like, that's why guys don't want to wife me up. With an upward inflection at the end of every sentence? It took her a minute, apparently, but she appears to have gotten the memo. Somewhere along the way, women started to believe that every high-value dude wanted a woman covered in tats with a body count exceeding 15. They started to believe that this was the mark of wisdom, when all it tells guys is that they chose the carousel and have no intention of hopping off anytime soon. The crazy part is this will, in no way, correct this chick's behavior. She'll embrace her problematic personality even harder and crash into the wall with a false sense of pride. Here we go. She's a walking red flag, for recreational use only. Find yourself a guy who likes trashy tattoos and ugly piercings. Taking that shit out your nose would be helpful for starters. It's actually quite simple. Most men don't want a masculine woman. Lose the nose ring, that's a start. I think most of the comments prove my point here. As for the first comment, you do you man, but don't come crying when you catch an itch that scratching can't cure. Moving on. Does height matter in a guy? Really? It does matter? Step on the scale. Wait, who said I'm insecure about my weight? Are you insecure about your weight? No. I have to step on the scale. Well, I don't know you. This is a weird No, it's weird to judge guys based on something they can't change. That's what's weird. I don't know you. I'm gonna go. Alright. And the gaslighting tactic continues. I don't think anybody is going to argue that there are advantages that come with height. The issue comes in when women think that they have the right to determine what that height is, especially when they follow the modern order. This guy is all over the internet right now, and it's because the concept is clean and simple. If you choose to judge someone based on something they cannot control, then you should be hammered for what you certainly can control, weight being the obvious target. Look, I had a buddy who had surgery for a brain tumor and ended up affecting the way his body processed food. There are exceptions to the rule, but chicks like this that order a flight at P.F. Chang's think they're God's gift to the world. It's a necessary humbling exercise. The comments are, Girls are so quick to play the victim. She is a queen size bed. She wasn't asking your weight. She's not interested in dating you, so huh? She played the victim. Why are you angry? Who broke your heart? All right, gold stars for everyone except the two chicks that clearly watched a different video. Next. Stop saying women zippy cut. <laughs> women. <laughs> four by four times four, okay? Four by four. <laughs> women. <laughs> oh, she did it the wrong way around. It doesn't matter. It's just... Oh, oh, oh no! Did I just prove the point? Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. We're shocked. And if you touch a man's truck with a sharpie, I think there should be a law that accepts retaliation. This falls right into my claim at the start about most women not understanding basic mathematics. She thought she was being clever for vandalizing property with performance descriptions. And then another chick ignored this fact, only to prove the point that neither of them should have graduated third grade. I love how they think this is a cute thing. You know, maybe a hundred years ago, it would have been a fun laugh. But now companies like Google or Facebook hire these women to write code. No wonder security is messed up. The comment below, women sips coffee. She's automatically proved it, sips more coffee. Women x women. I still don't think she got it. Women twice. Why stop there, bro? It's all of them. 
Every time you see an advancement in mathematics or science and find that woman standing in the front of the line, just know there are dozens of men working to make whatever it was a reality. Not only that, but it's fair to assume that they made the job 10 times harder. Next clip. Honestly, if I was a man, I would only date single mothers or people to, or mothers, period, because I'm gonna honest, stop you there. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm, no, let no, me, no, I'm, let me, I'm, let me, I'm, let, me I'm, let me get the explanation to that. I feel like motherhood changed me so much, mm -hmm. and although I'm married, I'm not single. Mm -hmm. Mental, my mental, that my, it's not because I'm, I'm my, my mental isn't married. You know what I'm saying? My yeah, mental yeah, is my yeah. mental. Yeah. So. When I tell you, my, my, a lot of stuff about me change. I value myself more. I value my time more. I don't really give my time and my energy to shit that just don't, that don't matter, don't equate to nothing. Mm -hmm. So if I was a man, especially if I was a man that was older in age a little bit, you know, like Pawpaw, I would literally be like, you know what? I want a single woman because a single, a, a single mom, mom, they know how to get shit done. Mm -hmm. They, they literally, they, they really be like the, the grade A people for real, for real. It'd be a single women, the, the, them, not us. Cause I got to be careful. But Why when I was, was advocate with that. Well, would you look at that? The single moms strike again. There are obvious reasons why this demographic would fall into the illogical category, and a lot of it has to do with what they're selling. Just like the chick with the nose ring and tattoos. Most of these women think that experience in the bedroom is everything to a guy. Newsflash, it ain't. Why? Because if a woman has a track record, men don't stop at what's happening right in front of them. They're naturally inquisitive. All guys will start to think why that woman can do what she can do, and who taught her how to achieve it, and that doesn't even include the fact that a kid is part of the equation. Let's see the comments. I bet they'll all be rational. Wealthy old men love single mothers. Don't let the broke boys lie to you as they've done with everything else. She's really trying to sell men that crazy idea. No way. Worst advice. Fellas, don't, but do you. This adding to the delusion. Did she ever bother to ask men what they think? My mental is my mental. Lost me there. Good point, sir. That aside, every other single mom post you come across has at least 10 women writing essays. As baby carriers themselves, why the money is just a day away. Ladies, deal with it. Nobody is interested. Next. Who do you think cooks better, men or women? Women. Women. Name a female chef. <laughs> my mom, my mom. Your mom. Is she professional? Yeah. Is she? Yeah. What's her name? Sarah. Who do you think are better cooks, men or women? Oh my god, women, obviously. Women? Yeah. Can you name me a professional female chef? Um, no. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Shit. Interesting. Interesting. I just kept it too much. Okay, that last part made me laugh harder than it should have. To be fair, I think a number of female chefs, Julia Child, Ina Garten, Paula Dean, before she got a bit too southern for her comfort, there are a few. That said, does anyone notice a pattern? They're old as hell. They're the last small handful of women that know how to work with a spatula. These days, you seriously have to wonder if the average woman is capable of telling the difference between a whisk and an iPad. It's just not in their arsenal. The comments at the top are here. Women by numbers, men by quality. Men don't let women to be professional, so what's the point here? Welcome to the patriarchal world we live in. Average Asian mom? Then tell the men in your house to cook. Man, we started off strong and then descended into straight nonsense. I told you guys, it's every other post when the comments get rage spammed. Now, addressing the only two worth acknowledging, the statement, women by numbers, men by quality, is beautiful. I'm going to take that for a future vid. And the one about Asian moms, well, of course, but take a minute to think what side of the world they hail from, because it sure as hell isn't London or LA. What if you rate yourself on a scale from 1 to 10? Just your face, you cannot use that. A 10. <laughs> Oh, poor baby. Now let's try this again. So I'm you are not the most beautiful woman in the world. Cosmopolitan ain't trying to get you to be on the cover. People ain't de deemed you one of the most beautiful women in the world. So let's go. So ahead. what would you rate me? Uh -uh, I asked you, since you want to bring looks about men into it, I'm asking you, what would you rate yourself? And the first thing out of your mouth was a lie. A 10. You ain't nobody's 10. You first thing you came out of your mouth, you said you're a ten, and you're not a ten. My face is not a ten. I don't have no makeup on, and my hair is not good, and this is all real here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So.
All right. I think I'm definitely a pet. Cool. I bet you do. I bet she does. I bet she does. Gents, welcome back to another episode of Modern Female Delusion. When it comes to men, we tend to have a very accurate idea of where we stand in the world. From looks to the general hierarchy in the workplace, we don't suffer from the syndrome that seems to plague every chick's mind on this side of the planet. But in the minds of most women, they're independent boss babes with a face worthy of being on every cosmetics campaign and a body that won't quit. In essence, the world revolves around them and common sense is an affront to the personally curated bubble. Here's the first set of comments. A lot of rage in this one. She looks rough, but she is a 7. Stop hating. He looks like a 2. She is a 4. I disagree. I'm sure she can be someone's 10. Everyone has a different rating system. She was beautiful. She's 10. Well, it looks like the mob got here first on this one. As always, it just highlights the fact that women will be anything but honest, producing a group of ladies that will be searching for Prince Charming long after they hit the wall. Next clip. Why would I help a man get on his feet if there are men who are already standing up? Because all the stand-up men have supportive women and we ain't checking for lazy ones. Drizzle, drizzle. A nice callback. One of the primary narratives that feeds into this feminist delusion is that men don't have options. Ladies, with transportation being limitless following financial success, all we have is options. We can buy a ticket to literally anywhere but North Korea in the East and find traditional values you wouldn't be able to understand even if you tried. It is why those who choose to actually settle down would rather grab a passport and travel a great distance than make a bet with something next door. The top comments are, Same, why would I help a woman get on her feet when it's other women that's already on their feet? Women don't understand that the high-value man will always empathize with the average man, because he was once average himself. When he sees a woman disrespecting an average man, he's reminded of how he was treated in the past and is instantly turned off. Facts, and a lot of those women were still there when the man wasn't standing up. Drizzle, drizzle. Real shit, say that again. I think the comments here say it all, and that's why modern women continue to fail to understand. It's not that men don't desire women, it's that they, in no way, desire to debase themselves for something of incredibly low quality when time is on their side. Next. How much you had to drink? I told you, two shots and a rebel. It smells like you had a whole lot more than that. You want to smell me? You smell, smell me? like shit. Cognac. Yeah, it smells that was like cognac. It smells like cock. That's all I could That's drink. That's what it smells like. You're gonna smell fucking, like cock Are you gonna try? Okay, if you're gonna just take. Thank you for your service. There was a time when I worked on body cam breakdowns with a couple of people, and let me tell you one thing. In almost every case, the most belligerent and entitled women were those found in the West. I actually came across one case where the woman's decisions led to a significant loss of a life in the other vehicle. All she could talk about on the way to prison was how she was looking forward to graduating, getting laid, and partying. It's a sickness, people. It really, really is. So the comments are, Cock yak. That pissed him off. It's Sunday for crying out loud. A lot of the comments point out that this is most likely a skit, but it doesn't negate what I said earlier. After all, art imitates life as much as life imitates art. There's a reason things like this enter the mainstream, and it's not because the West is full of upstanding feminists. Another one. It's kind of sad that a lot of these females won't date a guy who lives with his mom, but would instead date a guy who lives with his wife. Western female psychology is on full display. Criticize what's stable and find a way to dismantle it even further. When these chicks see a stable family dynamic, their single mom upbringing often makes them green with envy. By banishing masculinity in their respective social circles, they lose the traditional roots that lead to a stable life. In other words, when they see it, they resent it. This is why men do everything in their power to circumvent this reality for their own children in the future by going their own way. Nobody has time to clean up someone else's mess that they deliberately made. The comments are, dude wakes up, chose violence, spit facts, uploads, sleeps. Damn, he got a point. So true, never thought about it that way. Dude overcooked again. Bro is just burning instead of cooking. I see no issues with these. As always, for a unified comment section, gold stars for everyone. Women will dig icks up like it's going out of style to distract themselves from their own shortcomings. They'll rant and rave about being the table and other crazy things, but it all comes from the same shameful space in their head they used to try and grab that bag. Moving on. I 
I don't even know what to make of this one. Is it Shamu cosplay? Is this the Little Mermaid before a three-month hibernal cleanse? I'm, I'm really at a loss here. When it comes to delusion, there's a wide variety for Western females. You have the ones that nuke their marriage and wonder how everything went wrong, and then you have the types like Lizzo that often don't even make it to the wall because they'd rather have that fifth quarter pounder with cheese. Honestly, if I come across one more of those body positive mannequins, I think I might just lose my mind. Alright, the top comments are, didn't she body shame her background dancers? Is she trying to look ridiculous? Good job. Her turn to embarrass herself. You dropped this queen. Damn, this sandworm from Dune really let itself go. Okay, wow. Merciless. Well done, people. I could not stop laughing for like 20 damn minutes. It's the sandworm one that got me. And as for the first comment, yes. Yes, she did. But that's not really the part that matters here. It's that it's coming from Lizzo that matters to make the comment more clear. You see, shame is an important part of the human experience. It keeps us in check before we bring a whole new meaning to the Hunger Games. Next clip. Yeah, is is a you guys wear makeup, heels, waist trainers, everything about you guys is a lie. That's not a lie. Absolutely. Well, I could take my heels off, I'm still the same person, I'm just a little bit shorter. Let's say, I told you, I was a lawyer, I had a firm. Okay, well that's lying, isn't And we it? fought, right? Mm -hmm. Then you find out that I work at McDonald's. I'm probably gonna get me too, aren't I? Because you're a liar. Oh, okay. But what about women wearing makeup? Is Wearing that a lie? Trainers, Wait, filters on Instagram. My makeup off straight filters away. on Instagram. I have no way about being barefaced. Makeup, women are fake. Everything about them is deceptive, guys. I told y'all. Everything about women, a lot of the times, is based in deception. You've been hurt, heartbroken, it's and damaged truth. by women. And I really feel like either a therapist or a good cry would change a lot of your views. What did I say that was incorrect? That women just a lot are lie about everything. That we women care about social stuff. The makeup women industry are all gold is a diggers. multi-billion dollar yes, industry. Yes, it is, and it's also reason. very damaging for women. What hence You're I change an argument. Why? Because makeup in itself inherently is to deceive. Or to enhance. No, it's to make up for your lack of aesthetics. That's why it's called makeup. If I take my makeup, makeup off, for lack of aesthetics, I look the exact same. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. I look the same. Like, yeah, I and I got a 12-inch stick. Do you? That's fantastic. Yeah. Why I got so many hoes? She definitely lost it at the end there. When it comes to chicks, it's all relative depending on personal benefit. They'll call it assault if a man tries to portray his career in a better light or switch things up, only for them to awaken the mob if a guy finds out that a woman isn't really a woman at all. Or through the simpler lens, like in this clip, wearing three layers of makeup to look completely different. The game is always just silly and guns when the shoe is on the other foot. Anyway, the comments here are, if you look the same without makeup, then why wear it? I actually agree with him. Makeups like hair extensions, eyelashes, eyebrows redraw, high heels for height, bras to hip fall and breast, waist trainers to press fat belly. Should I type more? But my question is, if she would look the same without makeup, then what's the makeup for? Exactly. And that's how a new case for the delusion argument emerges. Women are always saying they're perfect without all the bells and whistles, or worse yet, they'll say that they're doing it for themselves when every cosmetic decision they make is geared towards looking more sexually viable. Next. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, babe, what's up? What you up to? Just riding around with my side nigga in your car while you at work. Girl, you play all day. Mm -hmm. Tell you, tell you, nigga, tell you what's up. My husband say, hey. What up, baby? Man, you're fine, just like a fucking nigga. She sound like a man, don't she? Yeah, man. You know, 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 Sometimes, delusion is sadly shared. I often hear the argument that women cheat for a number of reasons, but one of the least referenced is that many just do it because they find it funny. In some twisted sort of way, they think it's hilarious to fool around while the man's away and try to get caught like it's a game. Meanwhile, Chad is in the passenger seat about to bring that to an end. Well, eventually. This dude is pretty blind, and a little deaf too. I'm gonna be honest, this one was confusing as hell. So here are the comments. Nah, cause he trusts her, but it's clear as day. When in the Jada Smith going on, lol. Oh bless his little heart. The audacity to say, I love you at the end. She's playing a dangerous game. 
Exactly. I got no idea what the end of this will be, but something tells me it'll end up on the news. Regardless, bro, that was clearly a dude's voice on the other end there. At this point, I really don't know if this is a troll or if this lady is just trying to prove how naive the husband is. Strange. Moving on. I like guys that don't like me. And when they start liking me, mm -hmm. I don't like them. And it's really, like, really sad. It's weird. Possibly the most classic delusion in the book. Guys, this is what happens when a culture allows women to make all their personal decisions. The signals don't just get crossed. Everything just starts flowing in the other direction. I mean, come on. This woman is talking about it on camera with a sense of pride. The piano music can be a bit misleading to make all of this sound sad, but it's obvious she doesn't really care what the result will be for her life, as long as the spotlight shines for a few more seconds. The comments are, because you don't like yourself. Passport Bros keeps growing every day because of clowns like this. She has the mentality of a 12-year-old. Nothing about that is cute. Daddy issues? Nope, mommy issues. The only statistical daddy issue to be found here is absence, and I really doubt he had a choice in the matter. This is a thing most men here usually do before all other excuses in the book. Initially, young bucks will try to analyze to see if it can be solved, but you quickly learn what it really is. Nonsense. Moving on here, next clip. Red flag that I seen a guy is having a mom, and even worse, having a sister. Hi, mom. Hi, mommy. 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 This one kind of ripped my heart out, but it's important to show it because, basically, all of these women just choose to talk out of their asses. They act like wounded animals to justify all the poor decision making, but they'll quickly hop on a pedestal to try and diminish the value of tradition and reverence. It's a character trait that pretty much all of them share at this point. Even with a miraculous shift in the paradigm, this won't change for a long, long time. Let's see what others got to say. The biggest red flag is having a mindset like yours. First OnlyFans, now they hating on our moms? She's a red flag. Red flag is looking like that and thinking you can get a good man and meet his mom. F this generation. Look, I'd like to say this is the only generation with 304s. That would make things so much easier to solve. But the reality of the situation is that you see 65-year-old broad spewing the same nonsense in a lot of these clips. The seeds are deep. Alright, last one. Wait, so did you really have straight A's? Yeah. I did, all throughout high school. I think I graduated with like a 4.5 something. Because the clip with your brother, I mean, he did have a point. You got all those good grades for what? To sell yourself online? All that study. For what? We just started. So do you just come on here to piss me off? Like, you're supposed to be my brother. No, no, no I come here to tell you. Like, you're supposed to show me you. love, not be against me. I come on here to tell you the truth. What the f are you talking about? What's when the you, truth? So when you leave here to go to Miami, you're living out your life. But yeah, then you I'm just living forget, my life. You, sh you just forget whatever happens in North Carolina and what happens to me at school. Like, I, I get, like, bullied, but not, like, bullied, like, punched at, but people just say shit and that pisses me off. And, like, I just wish I stop because whatever you're doing here affects me at North Carolina. I've been getting name-called a lot more at school. Some random girl said, see you later, Pinky. Pinky? Pinky. And here we'll make one last point before hitting the road. It would be one thing if female delusion only damaged those who encouraged it. That's an isolated situation that can arguably be controlled. However, the main cause of these issues, one that made channels like Man Guide have to exist to fight this, is that this kind of mass hysteria causes collateral damage. That's why men are walking away. Because that means that we got a chance to protect those we care about from crap like this. So the last set of comments are, He goes to my school. Really nice dude. I hate his sister for him. She brings dishonor to her family with her selfish acts. She's lucky to have one person to tell her the truth whether she likes it or not. Poor kid. OF really ruins people. It really does. Men, as always, save your money, your time, and your sanity. To live among crazies and endorse their behavior will leave you just as lost. Instead, seek traditional masculinity and growth. This is the way. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get five bucks.
Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.